All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dominaria draft here on Magic Online. I want to full disclosure here for you guys watching on YouTube. Uh, I am feeling a little sick today. I have a scratchy throat. I'm, there may be a couple coughs that I will I will try to curb off the screen, but I uh, just wanted to give you that up front in case you guys are like, God, I can't stand listening to this sick dude. Uh, still wanted to create some content for you guys. Make sure there were some videos to go up. So you're gonna you're gonna get that. All right. So I'm gonna take this Sarah Angel because it's pretty pretty easy. Halar seems better than Sarah Angel. Jester Poo. Can you actually do Brown Town? I don't think so. I think just because this is in the pack does not mean there's a good deck. I don't think Chewing on Ice does help with it. Oh, and we get past. If we took Halar, we'd actually have a pretty good one here with Grand Warlord, but Time of Ice is pretty good for the uh, the white card we just took. Gideon's Approach as well, if we want to. I think Time of Ice is pretty strong. It's probably the one of the strongest cards I've felt in the new format. Yeah, I'm just going to take Time of Ice. Like, it makes them not want to attack the turn it's going to go off. Um... <clears throat> this pack's interesting. It's probably just Pegasus Courser. I think it's actually better than Deep Freeze. But only because I think you can get Deep Freeze a little later. Alternatively, we can just take something like Valduck. Uh-oh. Sneeze might be coming off. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think it's Courser too. Oh, Journey Mage. All right, so we're just drafting the same deck we had yesterday that we went 3-0 with, so that's pretty good. This is a late Grun, too. I think Grun is really strong. Just a 6-6 six, six for 5, or 5-5 five, five for 6 with uh, two pretty sweet abilities. One, be able to kick it, and two, being able to double its power and toughness. Still, I think our deck looks... These are very good for four picks, so... Strange Woman, Lion, and Pawns distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. I agree with you. That is a uh, a solid point, sir. <clears throat> oh, do I play Slin Vada? What are the odds you're kicking this for 8 mana? If you don't kick it, it's just an 8-8, eight, eight, right? Like a super slow 8-8, eight, eight, where we can get a 2-drop or, or a very good 3-drop. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's Trapper. 1,000 per se play Chunkfish? 1,000 per se. Percent? 10 mana is way too much, man. Way too much. And for 8 mana, you don't really get much more than you do with, like, a good creature. Hey, buddy. Look, just because we're... F All right, that's it. Now the, now the sword's going away. <clears throat> it's either... Eh, well, both of these are fine. I'm not thrilled about either of them, but... What are you going to do? I See, I'm not thrilled about all of these cards, but I will play both of them. So... Probably Adamant Will. I think I like Adamant Will better than Cal Candle. Candle's good removal, but we shouldn't really need it in these colors. And uh, Adamant Will is nice to save something like a Sarah Angel. So, Magic is a game where it's uh, it's all about sticking one really powerful creature and making sure your opponent can't deal with it. And uh, Adamant Will makes that harder for them.
Yeah, we're just going to take the Invoke. This is a card I'd main deck in this format. <clears throat> and an Avon Century. All right, this deck is looking great so far. We're barely we're barely blue though. What up? Yep. <clears throat> Good seeing you, buddy. The Antiquities War came back, man. And that will never be played. I could see playing Elephant at some point, like just you know. Oh, Gideon's Reproach came back. Okay, we're the only white dude at this table, apparently. That's really weird. I also think blue-white, in my experience, my limited experience so far, haha, <laughs> it's a double entendre there, limited experience. Um, blue-white is also one of the best archetypes. Or I rather, I also think blue-white is one of the best archetypes. Oh, I'll take an unwind. Hmm. I'm going to take the Radiant Lightning. I think it's significantly better against the decks it's good against. And if we're not blue, I'd rather have this. So, <coughs> Unwind is good and all, but we can probably get another Unwind. But this card is really good against the, the decks it's good against. Yeah, Sergeant seems great. All right. Yeah, Run Amok is another red card we can play. Gets our creatures out of range of uh, Gideon's Reproach if we're playing against it and we're play if we're playing red. Josu Vess. Ooh, is that worth going black for? That card's very good. That's also 10 mana to kick. I don't know if that's good enough, though. It's probably just Academy Drake here. Or even Sentry. Maybe. Oh, making bread for the first time ever, huh? That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to take the Josu because I think it's head and shoulders above both of these cards. And we're going to see what happens. Another Antiquities War. Wow, good for us. JK, not good for us. <coughs> I will take the Sanctum Spirit, though. Maybe? Actually, I, like, I actually like Call the Cavalry better than Sanctum Spirit. Yeah, I'm going to take Call the Cavalry. I think it's a stronger card. Final parting is fine, but not, nothing super exciting. Uh, none of these black cards. I don't think any of these black cards are better than Avon Sentry. That is a late slime foot. And by late, I mean third pick. I mean, if I'm going to take a 3-2 for... A 3-2 flyer. I'd rather have the 3-2 flyer in our colors than the one not in our colors. Especially the one that costs one less mana. So I think, I mean, despite the life gain, I think Aven Sentry is probably just better for us. This card would be awesome if we had that legendary permanence other than zero. But we don't. So it's not. There's still nothing else in this pack, which is pretty comical. Blink a historic permanent you control. Literally, the only card we have is Time of Ice. That's pretty funny. Do you think Final Parting will make it in Modern? What do you mean four mana aside? Like, it's actually five mana, which is why I don't think it would ever make it in Modern. I mean, if it, is it an instant? If it's an instant, then maybe, but I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we can return our Josu for with a Glorious Rebirth. I'm still going to take it. I don't think there's anything better for us in this pack. 
Maybe flash 3-3. Three, three. But this could be good at some point. I don't know. I doubt it. Wow, another Slin Vada. Slin Vada. Yeah, final parting is five mana to sorcery. It's three black black. <clears throat> it might be Memorial to Folly here. The Blinkfish is fine, but like I said, I only have Time of Ice. It's literally the only card we can blink. So there's just literally no there's no benefit to playing it right now. I don't think I want a third Avon Sentry. I could see Sarah Disciple or Caligo Skin Witch is the pick here. I like Memorial. Oh, Cloud Rider Sphinx, though? Dang. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's better than Sarah Disciple here by a large margin. I'm just going to take this. Mm, Stronghold Confessor is good. We can't be three colors. That doesn't seem good. I don't think it's either of these. I don't think it's Tragic Poet either, so... Whatever, we'll take Confessor. We'll see how things end up. Eh, Jousting Lance seems fine. Feral Abomination also seems fine, but I don't care. This is a third Slin Vada, by the way. If we can discard them all, we can return them all with Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, and then they a lot of them die. So that's sad. And then Pegasus Courser. That's pretty good. Oh, the Selfless Spirit came... The Sanctum Spirit came back, rather. I actually like Vidalion Arcanist a lot. I think it's really good. <clears throat> it holds down the fort. It's a wizard for your other wizard tricks. And uh, lets you cast things like the five mana draw three earlier than you ordinarily would. I'm actually going to take the two drop here. I'm going to take Compass just in case. I actually like having a rescue. I think rescue is pretty good against the uh, deep freeze decks or like any deck that tries to kill all your good stuff. Like if we can bounce a Sarah Angel in response to removal, like that's just fine. That's basically a an expensive counter spell. No, oh, Sarah Disciple. Yeah, I think we're blue here. We don't have much blue, but our blue is good. The only black we have is Josu and Stronghold Confessor, but I guess that's actually also fine. I don't know. Excavation Elephant can leave. Blast. Alright, so this is just going to kill all of our things and none of their things. That's unfortunate. This pack's pretty good. I like Weight of Memory a lot, like I said. And we took the Arcanist, which is nice. Blink of an Eye, also very, very good. Is drawing three better than drawing one and bouncing one? Hmm. Hmm. I think it is. I think drawing three is pretty good. And there's obviously no black in here. We're not going to take Yargle or Drudge Sentinel, although somebody is going to say Yargle, so. Oh, wow. 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 Somebody took a foil rare, or a regular rare, over the Mitra Self-Replicator. The problem is we still don't have any Historic Spells. This card's too good to pass up, right? We can just take a bunch of Historic Spells in this pack, or do we just take the Danatha? Oh, God. Do we care about a stupid 2-2 ground guy? I think it's Danatha. And then hopefully one of these three comes back. Yeah, we'll take Danatha. Arvad the Cursed. Ooh. So in our deck, I'm pretty sure Mesa Unicorn is just straight up better than Banalish Honor Guard. <clears throat> Oh, 
I don't think Danith was boring at all. Well, the problem with Arvad is that we have very few other legendary creatures, so. Splash Black for all of, what? We don't have any? There's no kill spells, though. Well, we don't have any anyway. This guy's great, but we just, like, he's basically a 3-3 three, three lifelink death touch for 5, right? Like, our only other legend... <clears throat> catching up with me. The only other legendary is, is Danatha, so I want to take the Mace Unicorn. Return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand. This card's actually fine. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4, which is just fine and limited, and if you get to get a guy back, it's just gravy. Come on, you guys know gravy. And whenever you cast historic spells, it gets counters. Four, four, five, five. You, you know how counters work. I don't have to explain this to you. I will take Daring Archaeologist. Whatever. It's fine. What up, Axel? Another Slenvada. This is our fourth. We could have the four Slenvada deck. That's unbelievable to me. We're gonna take the we're gonna have the double Gideon's approach deck, though. That's what we're gonna have. And I said approach, I think. I meant reproach. My apologies. Yeah, this card's good, too. I don't know how I feel about Triumph of Gerard. There's a bug flying around my face right now, and I'm not, not comfortable with it. Undrop Tuna, we can't have that many Slinvadas. That's too many. <clears throat> I think it's just Triumph. Uh, I don't think it's Triumph. I think it's Syncopate, but I don't know how I feel about Triumph. <clears throat> All right, I want to take Triumph <clears throat> at you guys, you guys's and gals' behests. That's what we're doing. We're going to be triumphing over our opponents with that. Oh, that was so, God, he's so funny. His humor is like, it's like a fine wine. <clears throat> it is historic. Now there's three cards. All three of these I would take. I think it's Syncopate. We have card drawing. Another Courser, huh? This is a rare. I'm going to take the rare. I like having rares. Wow, this came back? <coughs> I think we're still taking Memorial Genius over it. Maybe? I'm just going to take the Ruinous Blast. Maybe we play that. I really want the, uh, I really want the Memorial, but I understand. Wow, another trapper. Interesting. <laughs> oh, four thick fish. Well, you know what they say about Slinvada. Damn, boy, he thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Uh, I might play Zelfir and Void. I will not play Opt, so. The Lego Sock? What is that? What is the Lego Sock? I have no idea what you're saying, Fears Ors. Oh, the legendary sorcery. Um, it yeah. Actually, we don't have enough. We don't, I don't think we have enough to play this. That's unfortunate. I always forget about that, which is definitely going to be my downfall at one point or another. Yeah. So we literally only have one creature that can uh. That we that will allow us to cast the cast this. Dang, it should have been Memorial now. My that was my bad. I got taunted by the allure of the the exile all permanents that are not legendary. Yeah, Invoke can be sideboard. So can Syncopate, I think. Everything else seems great, though. Actually, Daring Archaeologist is not that great. Like, we're not going to get anything back with it. And the only cards that trigger it are, like, these three. Literally these three. 
So I can actually cut this guy, and we'll keep like a syncopate, I guess. Or if we have something else that we can put in instead, maybe it might be invoke. Invoke might be good enough to. Uh... It's either invoke or syncopate. I kind of like syncopate though. I like having a counter spell, so we are very light blue. I guess we'll add the void, and then we'll just play like. 9-7. Seems fine. I'm down to clown. Whatever that means. Our deck looks fine. <clears throat> we don't have any <clears throat> we don't have any super busted like bomby rares or anything, but right? We don't have any rares at all. No Karns, no Teferis. Just a good old fashioned blue white deck. In, in WoW, do they call legendaries Legos? Why, why, though? Where does the O come from? I'll keep this hand. That's so weird to me. <clears throat> I find it weird when people add uh, letters and, and words that are not included in the original shortening, the shorthand. <clears throat> like, Sakura Tri Builder. I get why it's S-T-E because of the initials, but I don't get where the, the V-E comes in. That's what I don't understand. So I'm like, where did you, you just added a VE? Now it's silver. Now it's Steve. Where does the VE come in? Uh, yeah, we'll counter this guy. Oh, Skirt Travel, they're very excited. Okay, well, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Infinite Blockers. I don't care about this anymore. We're just going to reload in a minute, so I think we're good here. I hate that I tried a double Gideon's approach for a two-headed giant and a run amok, but like, there's no there's no situation where we're not doing that, so that was a good draw. I'll bottom you. <clears throat> and now we're good. All right. Call of the Cavalry and Sapperling Migration are both very, very high picks as, I, for me as well, I think. Let's mill you, see what you got. Chronicler, land, land. Sergeant at Arms seems pretty good against Rampaging Cyclops, but what do I know? Could also just play Sarah Angel and keep a bad at will, but <coughs> yep, take four. That's a thick boy. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. <laughs> I'll trade with this guy if we want to. They know we have it. We're either gonna have to use it on offense or defense to kill this guy, so I might as well do it now. Like we're not just gonna take three forever. We don't have anything that profitably blocks. Oh, that's sad. I guess Sarah Angel profitably blocked. I mean, they're still at five, so. Oh yeah, it, it also reminds people of Ogre Savant. If you guys, if you're uh, if you're new to Magic. They're at five. We got a three-two flyer. We got a bunch on the board. Even if you get rid of this guy, you block here. You still take four. Seems good. <clears throat> oh, I guess they uh, they're just gonna scoop it up. Seems good. So we saw fiery the fiery card. We saw run amok. Didn't see anything invocable, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we're fine like this. I don't think we're... Maybe a rescue, but... Meh. What's he up to these days? Uh, he's settled down. He's uh, He lives a quiet life with his family. In the, uh, the Ogre Mountains. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. <coughs> Not super excited about it, but it is what it is. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Now we get to trigger the uh, the trap air. Oh wow, this is a good curve. Two drop, three drop, four drop, equip. You're gonna just kill my Macy unicorn? Wow, you have no no soul. I see. Zandish, thanks for all the informative streams. It's been helping me get back into MTG and learn a lot more than I used to know. You're the best. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you saying so. That is a great compliment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do they have the run amok is the question. They always have the run amok, don't they? This guy's really hard to deal with. <clears throat> Thank you. Tiger Nate, thanks so much for the two months in a row. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Welcome back. All right. Well, they always have it, so. Ooh. All right. Feeling good. If they had it and then they deal us 14, 15 damage this turn, like, I'd feel pretty bad. Uh, Crazy Mitch, I actually liked my sub notification, so Crazy Mitch is actually the bit notification. So if you guys donate any bits, you're going to see Mike's beautiful face uh, popping up there. So she have first strike? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrible, dude. That's terrible. I can never tell from Frank's videos if I started singing a song before him or not. He just weaves in it. That's true. It just comes up and then it goes away. And you're like, did I? Did he? Did he sing that or did I? It's hard to tell, man. There's a town in a quiet village. I don't like what's happening right now. I'm going to be honest with you guys. <coughs> I 
All right, we'll do it. I'll bite. Sure. Wait, what's going on right now? Why is it... Well, that's sad. Yeah, wasn't it beautiful? Affinity, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. I hope it was enjoyable. Oh my god, stop killing my things. More if I was going to eat. Oh god. That's amazing. God, it's so beautiful. <clears throat> well, I also never unsee it because... Uh, give me something to kill them. No, oh, that's pretty good. We have eight damage here. Why can't we get three more damage? I don't understand. So we block here, we take five. I don't want to block. <clears throat> I don't want to wait for my blocks to be over. I want to know how to know it in me. Well, there's no point. So we're going to double block here, which means I want to actually get rid of this. So we'll attack with you. Put them to eight, and then we have seven on board. God, all right, let's do it. We'll chump here. Actually, we'll block here and here. <clears throat> we'll go to one. And I'm just hoping you have nothing or just have dirtly creatures. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, now we're bringing in the invoke. Not only do I want the four life, but getting rid of that enchantment at a key moment is pretty good. <coughs> Oh, come on. Don't do me like this, Magic. Don't do me like this. Not like this. <clears throat> this is fine. Um, yeah, I can't really trade you in. Joey Jojo, what's going on? I saw your YouTube comment. Thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Oh, you're really good, but I can't keep you. I'm sorry. I could probably keep you, actually, but I don't know. It's going to be an island. Okay, well. Alright, they didn't kill our guy, which is nice. <coughs> oh, dubs trappers? Two trappers for the price of one? There's a discount on trappers today, boys. Can I get an island off the top one time? That would be amazing. Time to see if MTGA is up and running. Why would you do that? Don't do that. <clears throat> Am I the only one not enjoying? No, well, that's not an island, but I'm still gonna get you. I 
I don't know. Is it me? Like, what are you guys feeling about MTGA? <clears throat> is it good? You guys feeling it? It feels confusing. Like, to me, it feels like there's a lot going on. Right? Like, there's a lot of things going on. Woo! Everywhere. I don't know. Like, maybe that's just me. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take your one. I remember putting islands in the deck. That's the weirdest thing. I don't know where they went, though. Yeah, we're killing that thing for show. Oh, that is a dude. <laughs> so we mulliganed on the play, and our opponent drew an extra card from Surveyor, so we should be behind by three cards. And we have the same amount of lands, same amount of creatures, and they have three more cards, so that works out. Sure, I'll bite. Do you have double run amok? Because that'd be amazing. No, you just two for one? Okay. Oh my god, please. Please, dude. I feel like we're in a situation where one 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 island begets a second island. Yep, that's pretty okay, I guess. Like you do. I don't know why they didn't attack with the three five there. Like that seems completely reasonable. Yeah, I'll take one. <clears throat> hey, look at that. We did it. I'm going to keep both of these. I told you one would be get two. I wasn't joking. Why are you the way that you are, Deck? <clears throat> Why are you? the way that you are. These are the questions we ask ourselves with our scratchy throat. <clears throat> wow, I sound terrible, don't I? Is there a way to get rid of this kind of scratchy throat where you just sound just terrible? This is impossible to win now because they have run amok, so. We basically just died. Raw garlic? Why do you guys keep saying raw garlic? Stop saying that. Uh don't don't say don't say don't say things like that. That's not nice. Um no, Mike is not my brother. That'd be totally weird if Mike was my brother. We can't win, right? Like they just run amok, whatever we three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we just hope they don't. They just put on this guy and they kill us. Yeah, we're dead. Honey with lemon? Just like by itself or in water? <laughs> yeah, that was a fun match where we didn't actually draw a... Um... I wish we drew an island sooner than turn eight, but what are you going to do? Here we go again. Here we go again, Magic. Sure. Sure. 
Islands will help my throat. Is there anything that I could actually draw that would help my throat, perhaps? Plains is just a dry island. A dryland, if you will. Some top-notch humor there, guys. I don't wanna I don't wanna brag, but I don't think you guys can handle it. Hello and good luck. Look forward to watching on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, we'll keep you on top. Thank the Lord. Oh, thank heavens. Is raw garlic a healing spice? Is that like, is that scientifically accurate or is that some kind of like, is that some kind of like old wives tale? <clears throat> Top shelf jokes is right. You don't even know. I don't care about your bird. I don't care about your bird. <clears throat> yeah, Mike dropping the dice out of his mouth was certainly something, that's for sure. It was something. I don't care about that. This guy's a six drop. This guy's rarely a three drop when I'm playing Magic Gathering online dot com dot 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 Canada dot CA. Never gonna cast this guy for three. The juices from garlic are antimicrobial. How many juices does garlic really have, though? Let's be. That's a syncopate target. I'll syncopate that. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if that was an actual link. Let me tell you. <coughs> How about next turn we draw either Cloud Rider, Cloud Reader Sphinx, or draw three cards. Or Sarah Angel or Journey Journey Mage Apprentice. And then the turn after that, we just draw a land and play, play Sergeant Arms. And then basically can't lose, I think. So. Oh, God. Garlic juice with extra pulp. That sounds disgusting. I'm uncomfortable with what you just said. And for good reason, I think. See, my throat actually isn't hurting. It's just I just sound terrible, right? And for someone who talks for a living... For someone who has to entertain you guys and make you guys laugh with terrible po jokes, puns, pokes, uh, like a dryland. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's This is the lowest we've sunk, I think. It's all downhill. It's all uphill from here, guys. That's the that's the good part. What is this you're doing in response? Making three one ones? Sure. <clears throat> I can't stop you. You do what you want. Oh god, oh god, it's all happening. Really, you're gonna you got main deck pierce the sky? That's just rude. I want your mother raised you better than that. I actually wanted to land there, but I guess I can understand why you wouldn't give me one. Oh, I did forget the EDU. So if you guys are going to magicthegatheringonline.com.canada.ca, make sure you add the .edu. So I don't want you to go to the wrong website. The internet's a scary place. So All of these guys are getting buffed. I know it. Here we go. No, I just got to eat a guy. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Did I hear anything of a black green tokens deck? I don't think so. If you like pina coladas, 
I'm getting caught in the rain. I'll keep one of these nerds tapped down. I'm not going to attack with this guy. I'd rather just keep up Gideon's reproach and also be able to block. So we did good. There's a black green token deck that plays Bantu himself. You're speaking my language right now. Don't Gideon's reproach him. Just let him attack. All he's wanted to do was live his bird life forever. And what are you doing right now? I'm sorry. Oh, you're just making 2 one, one soldiers. Soldiers. Okay. God, there's so many French pronunciations in this game. It's very strange. When I feel kind of sick, I just remind myself that I'm a bag of meat teetering on the edge of oblivion and that none of it matters anyway. That's a good that's a good strategy. Um, I would expect nothing less from nature's little treasure, to be honest with you. Oh, my God. Look how deep you're going, buddy. Mother of God. So what are we taking? One, two, three. Do we want to want to just kill this dude? I don't know. We're going to Sergeant at Arms next turn, so maybe we just kill the bird. The bird flyer. Kick it. Burr, 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 burr. That's from Beastie Boys song. And if they want to alpha here, they just lose all their guys, which is pretty sweet. So that's okay. Oh, God. What are you doing now? Oh, God. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh, God. What are you doing? Stop tapping your mana like that. What's Torgar? Rushkar. Togar. Uh, Torgar. I'll look that dude up. Two A's, huh? Okay. Oh, that monster. Okay. You, you can just call him Alex Straza. You don't have to call him Tor. You don't have to call him his magic name. You can just call him Alex Straza. <coughs> mm. No attacks and no plays and no, no good draws for us. Okay. Well, everything's coming up Millhouse. We did get to Fog for a turn, so that was nice. It's got to have reach, right? All right. Just take your, take your medicine. Oh god, they're gonna wait till they're gonna draw a land next turn, and they're just gonna play the uh, plus two, plus two on all their guys, and then we're just gonna cry ourselves to sleep, and then slowly die, slip away in the deep slumber. End of turn. Make four guys. I have multiple spa spawns, you know. Of course you do. <laughs> it's only uncommon. <laughs> I guess to be fair, we could have just as many Slim Bottas. So, you know, that's almost basically the same thing. Here we go. Here we go. Are you going to Wild Onslaught? Oh, Quende? Sure, that's fine. That's totally fine, man. Rectorb, it's it's Thursday. Uh, the It wasn't... I. I mean, you've given it three days so far since I left Arkansas. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why. You, like, I'm not sure if the word "never got it" is uh, is really rel relevant here because you didn't really, uh, you didn't really <clears throat> give it a lot of time. So let's say you have a charge, right? Charge is the last card in your hand. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what you're doing right now. <coughs> oh. Well. That's like me ordering something on eBay on Monday and on, on Thursday. I'm like, hey, I never got the thing I ordered. And you're like, but ne what do you mean never? Like, never implies that you waited a, a more than a reasonable amount of time <clears throat> past the date that you would get it and you never got it. <clears throat> I 
I guess we'll bounce Quende. <clears throat> Oh, we won the game. All right, I like it. I like it. I really want to splash this, guys. Can we splash that? <coughs> I believe we can. We have two cards that actually do really, really good things against our deck. Is it too bad that they're not playing the, the, the red card that gives their creatures first strike? Is it too bad? That seems good, right? That they're not playing that? <clears throat> I hate. I think you mean Navigator's Compass, but I don't. I hate that card. I've grown to hate you, Navigator's Compass. I never want to play it, I never want it to be one of my draws. I think two two mountains is gonna do. Radiant Lightning is too strong not to play, right? Plus we have ways to draw cards. We'll get there. I'm not worried about it. Oh boy, this hand is this hand is something. I'll keep keep it. I don't like it. <clears throat> I never said you can't play three colors in draft. Well, like I'd even say that. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Don't do anything crazy. All right, that's just a little bird cutie. I accept your bird cutie. Oh, well, we went halfway there. Living on a prayer. Take my pretty lightning. We'll make it, I swear. <clears throat> all right, all right. Okay, okay. I can't equip this. I can't equip their bird with this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, fashion late to the party, I see. Okay. Okay. Here's my bird. On the bright side, if they're playing green-white, I don't think there's that many ways to deal with my Avon Sentry, so... You need to counter it? Oh, you're going to make three one ones. That's cool. Like you do. Oh, this card's going to be so good if we can just draw the one mountain of the two mountains that we have added to our mountainless deck. <clears throat> Again, apologize for the coughs, guys. Not uh no, I know it's not ideal. But it's either this or nothing. And I know there's gonna be someone in the comments who's like, we, we should have been nothing then. And I'll just be like, Well, you don't have to watch is the thing really, so uh no, we cut the void for a mountain and then we cut uh and I a planes for a mountain, so Okay, that's fine. I accept. Yeah, that's why it's, that's why it's it, it competes with spore migration. They're two different cards. Oh, really? Really? Post combat song of Fraley's, huh? All right, I got you. That's true. If you don't watch, you can't complain about me 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 streaming. That's a good point. I 
I mean, <clears throat> I think we're fine. I think we're, you guys are being ridiculous. We might be dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Mountain off the top. <clears throat> oh, God. Seven? What is this? Oh, God. Gross. You got reach? No, you don't have no reach. That is not... That is not what we're looking for here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, huh? <clears throat> Well, I'm not thrilled about the situation right now. It's going to be too late, right? Might as well at least play Courser here. Well, we can Ruinous Blast it now because we have our literal one legendary in the deck. Oh, dear God. All right. Well, this isn't terrible. That's true. I didn't call the mountain. Oh, they're indestructible too. Mother of God, why? So eight, nine, ten. We take twelve. We gain four. So we go to six, and we take three more, and we lose our Pegasus. That's really stupid. Wait, how did we go? To oh, okay. I was like, how did we go to eighteen? Oh, because the damage wasn't dealt yet. I thought there was like a huge bug where I just gained life. Here comes a mountain right on the top. You ready, guys? It's not a mountain. <clears throat> Are you going to kill this in response to this going off? How do you do that? Oh, I see. All right. Well, you're just a terrible person then. All right. Let's bring in the invoke. Seems good. <coughs> Take out the lance. I don't really care about the lance there. All right. Keeping it. We got the mountain. We got the weight. We're doing it. Making it happen. <clears throat> That's a good card. Why didn't they kill it before attacking? That's a great point. I don't understand either. <clears throat> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, why didn't they just kill Danitha before they attacked and then kill me? Interesting questions you're asking. I want to keep hitting land drops here. No, that's not one of them. <clears throat> I 
Matthew Ori, what's the Battletech uh, format? <clears throat> is it like a miniature game? Is it like a computer game? No, I'm not blocking that. Actually, I'll just block with my 130. And if you don't want to come in, I'll understand. Oh, you definitely have charge here. I'll take four. Yeah, you want me to go block, block, and then the charge is just another blowout. That's pretty. I have not played XCOM, actually. <clears throat> so I watched the clip with the mana problems in Magic, and I've been thinking constructed is hard to change, but limited might be easier. At limited events, draft sealed and such, you're always given basic lands for your deck. But what if they gave you other lands as well, like Guildgate type lands, at least a few? It would not fix Flood or Mana Screw, but it would make it easier to have a nice mana base, even if you're. Um. I think there could be larger problems with that, but then there might not be as well, so I'm not sure. Could also be fine. Yeah, she's 100% dead, unfortunately. <sighs> Never don't have it. Yep. All right, they might not have charge now. They might have just been banking on Gideon's reproach. So, oh, well, I've been enjoying Dominaria Draft. So, pretty fun. Interesting. <coughs> Sure. The old announced attackers, Blessed Light, a classic. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> God. Oh, boy. Wonderful. I mean, we have reasonable blocks here, but uh, I still don't know if they have charge or not. They have two cards. All right. They have one card now. All right. I don't. I. They might not have charge. Actually, might be charge free. Yeah, it doesn't look like a charge here. All right, still, still wait like one blue and puts it in good shape. Where are you at, blue mana? Yeah, not there, not there. Okay. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Lightning off the top would be nice. So would uh, just an island. Island or lightning. So we have like seven different cards we can draw. Thorn Elemental. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every time, dude. Come on. Hey, that's pretty good. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. We can put them to six, kill both of these guys, block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just have to go for the lethal here. 
Oh, we didn't. We forgot one. Oh, ah, we have double Pegasus. So we can make them all. We can make them all big next turn. So that's fine. Oh, we also have Radiant Lightning, which is going to deal three to their face. So never mind. We're fine. <coughs> all right, Thorn Elemental time. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Again, apologies for the throat issues. All right. This is definitely an alpha, right? And no alpha. Close to an alpha? Maybe alpha? Alpha alpha? Yeah, this is a bloodbath. The bloodiest of baths. Oof! <clears throat> Got him! Sweet! Alright. Good games, good games. <clears throat> um, I... I pre Damav, I appreciate you saying so, man. Thank you so much. But, um, the reason I do it is uh, because a lot of people are like good couldn't had to stop watching after this guy kept coughing and they always say this guy oh that's that's what kills me on videos like if you're commenting on someone's videos you should do so um under the impression that you're talking to the person who created the content not that you're talking to other people talking about the content right because that's weird to me because then it's like you're kind of in a room with all these other people talking about a person who's in the other room when they're like checking the comments at their video, you can hear them, right? Like they can hear you. <clears throat> so if you guys are ever commenting on the YouTube videos, I, I check the comments regularly. So just, if you have a problem or a question or a comment, just direct it to me. Be like, Hey man, love your stuff. Hey man, you should do this differently. Hey man, uh, can you not do this? And I'll be like, yeah, definitely. Thank you for recommending that. But, um, yeah, but like, it's so condescending and shitty when people are like, does this guy ever do this? Does this guy? Like, I'm right here, man. I don't get it. Anyway, that's my little comment rant and why I keep apologizing for coughing or, you know, scratchy throat, whatever. I'll keep this hand. I wonder if this is the actual iced tea. Wow. So we're in... We're, we're in the presence of celebrity royalty. Hey, man, don't call me this guy. <clears throat> thank you. Leo Magic, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Really appreciate it. See, Vukrelez, I agree with you completely, 100%. If criticism is not constructive, don't bother noticing or acknowledging it. 1,000% you are correct. The problem is it's harder to do. It's much harder to do uh, when you're the one creating the content, when you're the one streaming, when you're the one, like, making the... Um... Leo Magic is my favorite subscriber. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> Can this guy say... <laughs> Oh, uh, that was a good two for one. I like the dub Mesa Unicorn two for one there. That was pretty good. I'm a fan. <clears throat> let me get, let me show you guys something um, that literally epitomizes my content creating uh, experience for as long as I can remember. This is a comic by the Oatmeal. Well, it's, it's an excerpt from an oatmeal comic. And this is literally what it's like to create content on the internet. 
how I feel after reading 1,000 insightful positive comments about my work. The whole internet loves me. This is great. How I feel after reading 1,000 insightful positive comments about my work and one negative one. The whole internet hates me. It's never, it's, it's the most true thing I've ever read about content creation. This guy doesn't have haste or doesn't have a first strike. Okay. Hmm. I'll just tap it down forever. Maybe. I don't know if that's good. <coughs> oh, Patreon video topic. That's a good idea. Whoop. All right. Let me go. Let me write that down. Uh, you can definitely refer to me as a bad Larry. Little cutie does might send the wrong message. I would understand, but I think it might, it, you know, people might get the wrong idea. Comments on created content. That's a good idea. I like that. All right. I don't like them necessarily replaying this guy, but we don't have any other threats right now, so I'm not really in a position to... to worry about it. This also might prevent them from playing anything next turn, which is good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can just tap you down? All right, well. That was interesting. So three, <clears throat> well, you can't kick this and replay this in the same turn. So this, you play for six, you deal three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't love that. I actually should have waited to tap down another guy, but no, we wouldn't back, we wouldn't actually have time. This is going to trigger on our upkeep, so we actually don't get another chance to play this to tap something else down. Yeah, it's just two extra damage. If they're going to steal this guy, they're going to steal this guy. Like, I'll take two extra damage to deal five extra damage. So, Or to deal four extra damage, rather. <coughs> what up, Scalding Hot Soup? All right, crack it. Oh, all right. Well, this is just... And we got an adamant will. That's pretty good. Boy, I, I they're, they're we're just gonna die to our own to our own trapper. I bet. What's your thoughts on the set? Is it a good draft sealed or construct? I I feel like it's a good draft format. I've been enjoying it. Um, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm not sure the the value on the sealed format. I played some. And I, I'm not a big sealed fan, so it's hard for me to say, like, this is a great sealed format. I really like it a lot. I just don't like sealed. And it seems great for constructed, but... <clears throat> uh, Rakdos Ruin. Um, it's worth noting that I used to play Magic Online on a Mac. I used a program called Parallels, which lets you mirror a Windows operating system. So, uh, it is possible... I used to do it all the time. I had a MacBook Pro, and I used to use Parallels to play Magic Online. Um, it is not the easiest. If we can deal with this, we can get through. That is not going to do it. Okie dokie. <coughs> Why don't you have Trample, though? I don't understand. Never gets Trample. I'm practicing drinking for King's Day. You're practicing drinking. Damov, no worries, buddy. <clears throat> I appreciate the uh, the upfront notice. Oh, first strike. Oh, first strike. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll just wait. You're going to kick your guy. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to go to 2. But if you attack with everyone, then we're just fine. Uh, can't unequip. We don't have anything to put it on. Yep. This is a lot of damage, but what can you do? Go to two. <clears throat> or, well, if they alpha, they're dead. So they can actually only deal ten here. Oh, they can deal less than ten. I see. I see. Oh, no, they can deal ten. All right. Ten it is. That's fine. Because now we get to gain nine. Brian, excellent as a Grishabu, so I'm paying you for it. Also, all the prizes will be shipped out first thing in the morning. It was a pleasure. To Thank you so much, man. <clears throat> I've had a couple of people ask about it, so I'll let them know. Um, yeah, Brian, I had an awesome time, dude. I'm, I'm really glad I went. And uh, for those who don't know, Brian owns the game store uh, online. The game store. It's a store in uh, Jacksonville, Arkansas called The Game Store. He had me come out there for the pre-release, uh, and it was it was awesome. We had a good time. We streamed from there if you guys caught it this weekend. And, uh, yeah, be sure to check out The Game Store online. The store's not open right now. Uh, they should be open by the fifth, the 15th, I believe. And um, reason is they had a little issue with uh, the roof. So they've been repairing that. And hopefully it'll be good to go soon. So. Man, all these dubs, dude. And you're going to put this on there, right? No, you're not. You're going to do something else. You got one other card. What's your other card? <coughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, you can't attack. So, Oh, what? Really? Wait, why scoop there? Can't you just block my guy? That was weird. Like, you had at least one one other turn. I don't understand. You just showed me all your enchantment things. Now I can bring in... Now I can bring in uh, Invoke? Where are you, Invoke? All right, we invoked you in the sideboard. I don't know how I feel about that. That was interesting. <clears throat> Music Manly, I believe that is their Facebook. Let me also see... Uh, I think you can do it, Brian. Yeah, check out Brian's shop, Facebook the, slash the game store online. Yep, that's it. So if you guys do command Brian, you can you can get Brian's info. Brian has been a, a supporter of the stream and my content for a long time. Uh, probably longer than even me. Longer than I've been a fan of my own content, so. Also, Brian, consider us even for the Sharpie now, buddy. <coughs> you also owe me a Doctor Doom drawing, just so you know. I don't... This hand is weird. I don't think we can keep this hand. I don't know. <clears throat> Ugh, this hand is weird. Time of Ice actually could be very good with their. I'm gonna keep it. Time of Ice could be very good with their with their guys with their auras, and so is Invoke. So whatever. Uh, <clears throat> I heard Mike be waking up earlier, but I have no idea if he's still. I've given up on on determining if he's asleep or not. There's only so much I can I can impart to him and be like, hey man, you should really wake up before 3, 4 p.m. because it's just not productive <laughs> for someone who's in their late 20s to sleep this long. But you know, I can't I can't force him. Like I'm not his dad. I'm not his. <clears throat> so it is what it is. It frustrates me though because you know I, I Mike is one of my best friends. Like I uh, I care about that dude a lot, and I just. 
want what's best for my for my for my people, you know. <clears throat> but uh, eh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, Fearsaurus, that makes sense for you as a second shifter, but he he ha he hasn't worked for a couple weeks now, probably like three four weeks because looking for a job. <clears throat> so, you know, I don't want to. I'll talk badly about him. I love Mike to death. So, oh, this guy's gonna, this guy's gonna be a problem. Dove on strapper. All right, that's a three drop. That's all I want. Of course sir, you do. If you're not Mike's dad, then who is? Oh, we don't know. That's the question. Once he gets back from getting those cigarettes, we'll find out. Mike hits the ice on purpose. That's that's pretty good. I'm a fan of what you're saying right now. I feel like our deck is pretty well positioned against this deck with the... Uh, this guy's real big right now, though, so that's that's a concern. <coughs> We're just going to time now. I'm going to get in there with my little flying horse. <clears throat> what happens when you meet your sub goal? Uh, I don't I don't have a thing yet. I don't know. We could do something. I just never know what to do. I'm really bad. So if you guys have checked out my Patreon, that was a struggle because I, I'm really bad at making like reward tiers and goals and things like that. I totally want to. I just don't know uh, what to use for them. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. They got rid of my time of ice. I'm not a fan of it. <clears throat> well, now we get to choose which enchantment. Oh, good lord. This guy's huge. I think the actual first strike is probably worse than the menace because we're going to have a bunch of guys. You take my life, but I'll take yours too. You fire musk. I'm not going to attack here. We can't really afford to do that. So, <clears throat> Some kind of wrestling match with Mike. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. That seems super awkward and uncomfortable for everybody. If that's what it would take to get you to sub, then I... Uh, we will have to uh, agree to disagree. Wow. Wow. Yep, that's weird, but all right. Guess we'll take it. All right, that was a good draw. Um <clears throat> Why does it gain vigilance? Oh my god. Really? You can't give, can't give it Vigilance, huh? Okay. Well, that's sad. <coughs> Karakong, thank you so much for the, for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Um, I really want to just double block here. 
Like, we can attack for six, put them to 15. We go to 12, but we take five. We syncopate whatever they have. All right, we'll do it. I'm, I'm down to clown. <clears throat> Does this get double flying? No, of course not. Oh my god. I think a Cosby Cosby Bill Cosby found guilty of sexual assault. <gasps> guilty on all three counts. Oh my god. Bill Cosby is going to jail. <clears throat> We're just being told. Oh my God. Literally updated three minutes ago. Wow. Wow. Oh, we're syncopating that for a thousand percent. It's a shocker that he was convicted. Yes. It's not a shocker that he did it. No, I, I think he was 100% guilty. Um, but. <clears throat> But uh, the fact that he was convicted, that is shocking to me, yes, because I don't know if you guys are familiar with the American justice system. Uh, it's not always a... Uh... We live in a world, we live in a world right now where Bill Cosby is probably going to prison for the rest of his life. That is insane. Bill Cosby. That was a good draw. Yeah, shocker because Americans don't trust their justice system. That's literally, yeah, 100%. <clears throat> You got it. Yeah, Joey Jojo, 100%. I love the Cosby Show. I grew up with the Cosby Show, and it was heartbreaking to hear all these allegations because it was just, it was so hard to see, like, someone you, like, looked up to um, end up being, you know, meh. It sucks. What can you do? Oh, it looks like the tables have turned, though. Adam and Will seems very good against the red-white deck because they only have damage-based removal. I would assume. I guess they could have like seal away, but can we win here? Like we'll have three flyers. They can only block one. They block here. We take three, four, five, six, seven. They're gonna block this guy, I guess. So probably not. Oh, blessed light. Oh, look at everybody in the chat's all blessed light. <clears throat> You fire a musket, but I'll run you through. All 
Um, I'm just going to attack with these guys because I don't want to like throw this guy out. And I also want to have double blockers for you. So if you want to block here, that's totally fine. I will trade a knight for your Avon sentry. Oh, this is a good trade. <coughs> I will make that trade all day. Avon Sentry for one half of a Call of the Cavalry? Deal. <coughs> probably should have attacked here, and if they blocked, we actually could just kill it, and that would be really good. I think that would probably be better. I think it was distracted by our, our chat, but I, I accept. <coughs> this is game two, right? Yeah, we saw a bunch of their equipment in the game one, and then we boarded in the invoke. Do you have another seismic shift? No, that costs four. Five mana. Are you considering what to kill with your fiery intervention? I don't know if that's what it's called either. It might be. I think it's fiery intervention. <clears throat> I think they overpaid, though. Because a uh, casting cost went away, and then it asked if you wanted to... Like, it asked which mana do you want to pay. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, we're definitely blocking. I don't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. <clears throat> this could be bad for us. I don't know. Nope, looks good. Okay. Still a two for one. Adamant for champion and frenzied rage. Seems good. Oh, all right. We just win that game. Sweet. Not not a 3-0 as we wanted, but uh, I accept 2-1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry about the the vocal musings of my, my sickness. Um, I'll be back later, and I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check that on Patreon. It means the world. It's a dollar a month if you guys want to get some new sweet articles and written and audio content. And I'll see you later. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore.